Welcome to my channel Living Linux. In my previous video, I installed Manjaro on the eMMC, and today we're going to do some initial setup of Manjaro, and we're going to do some tests. So, first I'll start with setting up the Bluetooth mouse, and we go to settings and then system settings so if we scroll down a bit there's Bluetooth so it says it's not visible for remote devices so fix it now I'm going to put the mouse into discovery mode So let's see what it says when I do add new device. It says yoga mouse with laser. Connecting. And it works. So that makes it a bit easier for me now. I already set up the Wi Fi. Uh, if when it doesn't show up, automatically and for instance when you have an invisible Wi-Fi network or at least it doesn't broadcast its name you can go to the setup and then you can edit yourself manually now first it says 211 updates available And let's see. Now this is a bit updates, upgrade, oh apply. Have to fill in probably the root password. So now it will apply the 211 updates or upgrades. I'll let it run for a while and once it's done we'll be back. And we're done. That took a couple of minutes. Okay. So I guess that's it with the updates. Now I also have some preferences with the software. So when we go to system, we go to add remove software. One of the things I'd like to have is Chromium and you might say like, okay, why Chromium? There's already Firefox. Well, it never hurts to have multiple browsers. Sometimes things work just a little bit better in either Chromium or Firefox. So, and I guess well, at least for me, it never hurts to have Chromium and also have the extension H264ify. I also like to have Gparted. And perhaps there are other tools like Gparted, but well, you just install the software that you're used to. And that's also VLC in my case. So we'll apply, 
choose optional dependencies oh dear uh, ah decoding encrypted DVDs comes out of the box apparently well not really out of the box but you can just select it easily well this no we don't have Nvidia so not going to do that don't have Intel the MPEG2 encoder plugin okay music emu plugin video CD subtitle font some more subtitle fonts NFS access and back one two three codec discovery for Chromecast the HTTP interface we'll select this one well not really sure if I ever need this one but why not So the only thing that I deselected was the NVIDIA and Intel drivers or backend, who knows. But I guess later on, oops, there's some more. I'm not going to use password storage in Chromium, so I'll skip that one. Oh dear. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Well, hopefully that was the last one. Your root password and here we go so meanwhile we can do some testing for Unicode fonts So we'll go for the green fonts and that doesn't look good. Just as a test, we can also have a look at this one. Once again. So the uh, 
the subtitles are on. When we say Mongolian, well, that looks okay. And when we say Korean, No, that doesn't look like Korean. Well, anyway, then we also can do one more test for the emojis. Let's see. The emojis, uh, they all look fine. Also the simple ones, or the early ones. So then it's only the Korean fonts at the moment, Chinese, Japanese, Korean fonts. Anyway, all the other software has been installed. So now we're going to test with a 256 gigabyte micro SD card. So here it is. Open with file manager. And there it is. And let's see with yeah. So we also have the Big Buck Bunny video. We can open it with the VLC. Let's see what it does. That's weird. That doesn't look good. I think I'll just try to uh, restart. See if that makes things any better. Perhaps things were not properly initialized after the install. Well, that's all a little bit dark. Brighter. So let's try that again. So at least EXFAT works. See what it does. No, it doesn't like it. So when we try it with SM player, let's see what it does. That one does play. Well, it's not really fluid, but at least it's a whole lot better than VLC. Okay, so I'll have to investigate why VLC isn't working. That's a bit of a disappointment for me, but
So it also said that it can play DVDs. So I'm going to connect the Blu-ray drive. So it is able to read a UDF disc, something that didn't work with the default Debian image, so at least that works. Now we are going to try the matrix again because we know there this is a protected or encrypted DVD. And let's see what it does. Well at least it recognizes. Well, of course, this is going to be a bit tricky. Okay, so I need to investigate why VLC isn't working. But at least it did try to attempt it. So I'll have to test it at some later point. So last time when we installed the Noto fonts, then Chinese, Japanese, Korean did work, so Let's see if we can just do it in auto. Uh, fonts. Noto fonts. Yes, it is installed. That's interesting. Okay, well perhaps the Adobe fonts, they might work, but I'll come back on that later on. So for the moment, my biggest, biggest disappointment is VLC, and I'll have to investigate that. Most of the things work on Manjaro, not everything, once I get things fixed, I'll come back with a new video. So that's it for today. <laughs>